Good morning guys and welcome back to Kettler's Aquatics. This is Bob and I've recently developed quite a blackbeard algae problem in this tetra tank. Um, so I've incorporated the help of um, some workers to help clear that out. Uh, these are true um, Siamese algae eaters. Uh, flying foxes work just as well. Uh, I do not like Chinese algae eaters because of the dangers they pose to fish, especially when they grow out. But these guys are eagerly cleaning all of the blackbeard algae, and it will probably take them a week to clean this tank out. But they work together as a group. They're four, they're juveniles and um, they've cleaned that uh, limb or whatever of that plant. And to compare, there's what it looked like before. So I'm sure they'll make their way back when they're finished and satisfied that there's nothing else to eat on that. Uh, they've also been working on the roots of these wisteria and the glare is horrendous. Um, but you can see some of the thinner roots there. They go right in the middle. See, they're back up there again. Now they're going back. Um, there's a root right in the middle that looked like those uh, earlier this morning. So they're, they're very, very beneficial. Now, when they get bigger, they're not as eager to eat it, and also, once the job's finished, uh, they'll eat uh, what the other fish eat, especially vegetable matter. So, just a little pro tip, if you will. Siamese algae eaters are were true flying foxes which look like these guys almost exactly, except they're just a little more sturdy fish, a little uh, more colorful. Their dorsals are colored up at this age. So again, sorry for all that reflection, but just wanted to share a little quick uh, pro tip. We see so much uh, talk about what can I do for blackbeard algae. Well, there's your solution right there. Have a great rest of your weekend, guys, and thanks for watching.